Hello everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna deploy a uh, Azure application gateway. So let me show you a diagram. So this is somewhat uh, we are doing right now. So we're gonna create an application a gateway, and we are also gonna create some backend pools in which we have some virtual machines. So if there is any uh, heavy load on one uh, machine, uh, you'll be directed to the other one. And in the final, we're gonna test it. So coming to the tasks, uh, we're gonna uh, create a application gateway. And then we're gonna create a virtual machines, add uh, backend servers to the backend pools. Uh, in the end, is the testing gateway. So let's uh, go ahead and do that. So to just give a glance, uh, the application gateway is a web traffic manager uh, for your web applications. So basically, it re uh, redirects the application web traffic uh, to specific resources in the backend pools. So we have to assign the listeners to the ports and create some rules and add the resources to the backend pools. So let's go ahead and uh, create that. So I've already created it uh, just to save the time and uh, I'll be explaining like what I've done. So initially we have to create the application uh, gateway. So search for that, search for application gateway, click that. So I already have one. So let me show you I, how I have created that. So select the appropriate uh, subscription and select the resource group. In this case, uh, it was this and uh, Give the application name in this case i'll just okay i'll just give the same name that i have given so it was uh, this one let me keep on so this is the one and uh, coming to region it was east us and let it be the same and here coming to virtual networks i have created this one but uh, you have to create a new one uh, if you don't have that so coming to the name of the virtual uh, network let it be has this and let me say one because it's already created and uh, coming to the range this is the range so let me change it to zero and uh, you have to create a subnets so let me uh, add that here. So it's uh, you subnet and coming to the range, it's 0 0.0.24 and uh, create the other one, which is uh, back and subnet and uh, coming to the ranges point. So this is the configuration of it and uh, once done just click OK and uh, let's go to the next one. Here you have to choose the public. So and coming to public. Uh, so this IP address that I have however I cannot choose that because uh, it's already there. So you have to add a new one and just keep the name here. So it will be done in an instance. So once it's done, you have to go to back and spools and uh, okay, I guess it's an error. Let's keep it as, okay, let's create a new one then. Okay, let me give the name. Let's keep it as AG. public address okay now it's been created now let's go to the backends and uh, here add a backend pool so just give it as a name backend pool once it's done let's add this click yes and uh, click add now go to the configurations here you have to create the routing rules so click yes and give the name for it so in this case let it be the routing rule and uh, so coming to the listeners the listener name is the listener and uh, the 
friend and IP is in public. So this is the pretty much uh, the settings. And one more thing, if you check the docu uh, Microsoft document, there is no priority in that. So it's a new one which has been added. So you can just clip one. So that is the most, uh, uh, like the first priority is getting with this one. So it has the most priority. So go to the backend pools here uh, at the backend pool and here, uh, here it says uh, backend settings, but in general in the previous it was uh, HTTP settings. So it has been changed, just click here and uh, give the name. So I'll just say sample and let it be the same. Click add and uh, in the end you have to just go and create it. So pretty much the same, this is the thing that you have to do. And uh, once it is created, you have to create the virtual machines. So in this case, I'm just discarding this one. So let me go back. So this is the one that has been created. So you can see I have already tested it. So let me show you the creation of virtual machines. So you have to just use the command. So let me show you the command. Add it. So this is the command uh, that I have used. So for this resource group, we have uh, added the uh, virtual machines. So which is this one and uh, this one, you have to upload it inside the cloud. So this is how you should do it, upload and uh, upload the file uh, specific files uh, that you require so in this case it's back in parameters json and the back in json so once you use this uh, it will be uploaded so this is how uh, your virtual machine has been created so you can type ls and you can see so these are the different uh, files that i have so that's it so once the virtual machine is done you have to create a backend uh, service to the pools so which you can see here, oh, there you go. So in this backend pools, you have to click backend pools and uh, you have to add here the virtual machines that has been created. So I've already added here, which is VM1 and VM2 that we have created uh, using the cloud shell. So you have to add these two and save it since it's already done. I'm just leaving it here. So once this is done, uh, you have to test your uh, application gateway. And one more thing you can see, you have to select the virtual, you have different options. You have to select the virtual machine here. So let's go ahead and uh, test it. So this is the IP that we have. And let's try to test it. So you can see we have a backend VM2. Try to refresh it. Uh, so you can see here, based on what's changing. So hope you guys have understood the concept of uh, creating the application gateway. So if you have liked the video, please click like below. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe to my channel. And thank you guys.